Uh, really disappointing loss, tough loss against a good Tulane team. Give uh, Coach Fritz and Tulane a, a lot of credit. They had a really good game plan, played really well, uh, outplayed us, and uh, still had an opportunity uh, to win but uh, didn't get it done. Uh, really, the game comes down to our inability to convert on third down, going 2 of 15, and then uh, inability to convert on fourth down, going 1 of 5. You know, Put that on me. Don't put that on the kids. Um, I believe in our offense. I believe in Coach Klein. Uh, I believe we're going to make those plays. Uh, we work a ton of fourth down situations for those exact s- scenarios so that we can keep the drive alive. This game's about possessions. Uh, I believe in the defense. And um, the other thing is we were, I thought, pretty tired and pretty gassed on defense. And so figuring we would be able to convert a few of those. We'd keep drives alive and then finally find a way to punch one in. We weren't able to do that. And uh, so that's on myself and uh, uh, offensive staff. And uh, we had some plays out there that we thought we should have had on fourth and short and didn't get them. Bottom line, we just didn't get them. And so uh, give Tulane credit. But uh, uh, good win for them. We got to bounce back. It's our first adversity we've had since in 2022. You know, 2022 started out with a bang at a bowl game. Uh, we've had nothing but, but uh, great times since then, and now we got adversity. And let's see how we respond because it's struck, and let's see how we respond. Coach, on those third and fourth downs, is it maybe more painful that you were just kind of beat up front so often? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, they got after us. They, you know, they did some good things with stunts. Um, they got penetration. Um, and uh, just we didn't, we didn't make the plays that we are capable of making. And the passing game still looks like it's struggling. The, the stats yeah. look okay, but it didn't seem to have that great an impact on no, the game. It really was. It did not. Um, it did not uh, perform the way it needs to. You know, um, stats are are, are are stats, but we need to be more explosive and have more explosive plays um, in the passing game. I thought they did a really nice job of tackling, especially on Deuce. Uh, they they really good tackling team, and we you know, look at uh, the explosive plays. You know we got a couple of run for nineteen and a run for twenty one, or a run for twenty six, run for seventeen, and, and a couple passes, one for nineteen, one for twenty one, and the twenty one was a touchdown. We have to be more explosive and push the ball downfield or run after the catch, and um, that uh, eluded us today. Coach, on those third and fourth and shorts that you guys didn't convert on, you often seem to try and run the ball for it. Can you explain why that was the strategy you guys were looking for instead of a play-action pass? That's what CK had had dialed up, and, and a couple times we make the wrong cut. A couple times, to Fitz's point, we don't block it right. Um, we have an option called and should get it there. Um, and then we misfired on a couple of them uh, in the pass game where we thought we'd have it. So, uh, once again, it's a, it's a it's – a, it's a lot of different things, you know, from um, execution to um, just uh, not getting it done. So um, we've got to do better. We've got to do a much better job. I mean, you look at it: two of, two of fifteen on third down, uh, one of five on, on fourth down. You're three of twenty. You're not winning many games. And all that being said, we had a chance to win, going three of twenty in those critical downs. And a lot of those third downs. I thought we did a really good job of what we call sequencing. It's third and ten to get us to a fourth and two, so we're not in a fourth and long, and we get to those situations and we don't capitalize. From a standpoint of Colin, so kind of learning how to get in the flow of calling a game, what areas are you guys still trying to get wrinkles out or just kind of get more comfortable in that area? All of them. All of them. We just got to continue to be better in all of them on offense. Coach, uh, Nate Matlack came out earlier in the game. I was just wondering if you had an update on him. I don't. It uh, was a situation where he couldn't return, which uh, I know hurt us some just because Nate's a really terrific player and it took away from a lot of our depth. And then uh, on that last fourth down play, were you expecting them to go for it or did that kind of catch you in the defense a little off guard? Uh, no, I, I was expecting them to go for it. It's fourth and a foot to, to win a game in a power five place. You're you dang right. You, you go for that. That you don't get. The wind was blowing. You have a bad punt. Now you're putting it on the defense. And um, the analytics of college football have changed. Um, and that's probably one that they'd say go for 99 times out of 100. And you know their kid was a dude. Their quarterback was a stud, and they gave it to him, and he made the play.
Yeah, we had a really good week of preparation. Um, and uh, preparation doesn't, doesn't uh, equate to execution sometimes. And so I thought we prepared well, but I didn't think we executed very well. Chris, how would you say the team handled this immediately after the game? Oh, they were hurting as they as I knew they would be, and um, you know, like I said, adversity ha has struck. And, and how are we going to respond to that adversity? Uh, all of us, players, coaches, um, because this was uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Don't get me wrong. Not like Tulane's. You know, shoot, they had a chance to beat Oklahoma last year, and they had enough issues with the hurricane last year that they were a good football team. We knew we had to play really well. To beat these guys, we we played hard. We did not execute very well. And what what advice would you have to Adrian to maybe be just a little bit more aggressive in some situations? Yeah, out there? Um, we got to be. We got to get him to cut it loose without question. We got to get him to cut it loose and be free. And if he makes a mistake, he makes a mistake. How much was 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 Deuce just being tired there there near the end? Yeah, he was prop. cramping up. We we had to take him inside for a full quarter because he was cramping up. And uh, it was obviously, once that rain passed through, it was really hot and humid. And um, he was one of our guys that was cramping up. So uh, obviously, when you don't have him on the field, it, uh, it's a big factor. Big factor. And uh, I thought um, DJ did a nice job, though. What was the decision between punting on that fourth down on that last drive or, or trying to go forward again on fourth down? Well, Knowing that our success rate was not very good and it wasn't a fourth and two, it was a fourth and 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there. Um, it's either, I, and I thought we had three timeouts left that we could stop them. And the wind was blowing up that if we pinned them down there, we'd get them stopped inside the 20 and maybe get a short field and have a minute and 40 seconds left. And, you know, had we gotten that stop on, on third down and made it a fourth and one and a half, I didn't think we tackled very well in that series. Um, had we made it fourth and one and a half, they got to punt it, and it's a minute and a half left, and we work our two-minute drill and see what happens. Which do you feel like, I know you talked about just trying to get the offense to let it rip. Do you just feel like there was just a little bit of apprehension today on the offensive side of the football? Yeah, we'll have to see when we look at film, but uh, when you score 10 points, there's something there that we got to figure out. Did their front four really cause you some issues with your offensive line? Oh, yeah. they they. I think they got after us a little bit up front, no question about it. Was the shovel pass something that you thought might break for the first down? Are you trying to pick up efficient yardage? Once again, to get same thing, close? sequencing, trying to get six or seven yards there and end up losing two. And is Adrian valuing efficiency over pushing the ball downfield? I, I couldn't tell you that. On that last uh, fourth down, you guys did go for it at uh, two lanes 45. Did yep. you guys think about punting that and pinning them deep or – just trying to keep possession. Yeah, um, obviously, uh, hindsight's twenty twenty to say you can punt it, push them deep. But we really thought, you know, Colin and I talked about it prior to it. We thought we had a good play on fourth and short and didn't execute it. So, you know, we're, we want to be aggressive. There's no question about it. And uh, uh, I wanted to try to win the game, not try to just stay in the game. And our kids wanted to try to win the game. And there's, there, there's a lot going into believing in guys that you you trust them to be able to make the play and um, or trust the defense to be able to stop them. And um, the one big difference in that sequence there was uh, Pratt made the best plays when they stop us and we have a couple of really good calls and he makes our guys miss. Um, he was the difference. Even with all the struggle, the defense was able to come up with two really nice interceptions again. Now, how pleased were you with, with, with that end? Yeah, those were big. And I, and I thought we you know, we probably dropped one that we could have had. That would have been another big, big play. But, um, you know, you're plus two in the turnover margin. We talked turnovers. We were there. Explosive plays, we were not. Um, uh, efficiency on third down, we were not, but neither were they. And then um, we, we did not capitalize on special teams. You know, we, we've done that the, the first two weeks, and I thought they did a nice job of punting and kicking the ball and neutralizing our special teams. And Sean Robinson wasn't listed on the, on the roster. Yeah, he's today. left the football team. Well, I appreciate you ask, asking that, and, and thank you so much for all your guys' service to uh, our country. And it, it's so neat, the partnership that K-State has with, with Fort Riley. I know our kids really appreciate it. Our university appreciates it. And uh, um, I wish we would have come through for you guys.
Coach, right before halftime, you guys tried another shovel pass near the goal line um, that led you guys to kind of probably call a timeout. Yep. Can you explain the decision to go to a shovel pass with less than 10 seconds left in the middle of the field? Yeah, CK thought it was going to be a successful play and uh, got us close to a first down, and we thought maybe we could pop it. We didn't pop it, and we still had a timeout. And um, either way, we were going to have one more play, and we were able to get one more play off, and I thought Adrian did a nice job of making sure that we had another play to kick a field goal. It's a good question. I don't believe there is, but we've got to do a better job of it. Uh, Coach, do you feel that the lack of downfield plays has affected the run game in any way? Well, people are going to try to stop number 22. I think he's a pretty special player. So, um, you know, we've got to find ways um, to either get the ball in the perimeter to Malik and Phil and Cade and those guys uh, and let them have opportunity with the ball in space or push it downfield. It's something that we've got to look at because we've got to be obviously a, a lot more efficient, but more importantly, more explosive. And then uh, the offense sort of the focal point, but how do you feel the defense played today? You know, um, I thought we played well at times on defense. Put That's me. I put them in some tough spots, and they bailed us out a, a number of times and uh, uh, played well at times, but uh, still a couple, a couple of things that um, uh, cost us some field position. Uh, where we could have gotten a stop and didn't, pinning them down there, and then they were doing a nice job of driving it out. And then uh, our, our tackling, I think, suffered a little bit. Go to any distractions this week? Was Sean Robinson's departure one no, of those? No, it wasn't a distraction at all. Thanks, everyone.